I had a follow-up thought following my other Science of Light video just after I completed it, so I thought I'd get on here and follow up. <laughs> so here's my theoretical mirrors. Let's say that they're perfectly parallel and they're perfectly reflective so that if you could theoretically shoot a photon in there straight up, it would keep bouncing back and forth in there for as long as those mirrors stayed put. Now, my thinking is if these are theoretically flat, theoretically parallel, theoretically perfect mirrors, and this photon just keeps bouncing back and forth here, it's going to be bouncing back in a straight line, absolutely perpendicular to each of these mirrors. If I were to tilt this mirror then, let's say it's bouncing over here, if I tilted this mirror this way, then the photon would bounce out because it's completely you know, the photon won't change its direction until I modify these mirrors. Now, let's say it's bouncing back here and I move the mirrors perfectly from side to side. Will this photon keep bouncing like this, straight up and down in its position? So if I remove the mirrors far enough, the, the photon would fly out. So in my previous thought experiment, if I had this thing where I'm bouncing a photon in here as I traveled through space, well, I wouldn't even have to move very fast before I lose that photon. I would have to lead my target no matter how fast I'm going or how slow I'm going to get a photon in there and trap it. So if I shot a photon, if I'm moving this fast, I would have to shoot the photon at just the right angle so that it would bounce. Relative to the mirror, it's bouncing one place, but when you really look at its track through space, it's taking an angular path. Am I off base? <laughs>